Hello though, welcome to Crackalope, thank you for being here. Today we're playing, or no, not playing, we're covering... Are Black we covering? Rose. Black Rose well, Wars. first impressions. First impressions. It's like I played it once. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're doing first impressions on Black Rose Wars by Ludus Magnus, right? Ludus Magnus, yes. it is. Yeah. LMS. Okay. Uh, I'm Jesse Anderson from Quackalope. Nice to meet you, Jesse. I'm Alex Radcliffe. From Alex Board Co. from Board Game Co. And... I am Shira Chavin. From where? Ah, you put me on the spot. Oh, how interesting and awkward. Anyway, I've so... I've been seeing comments about where I'm from. Where are you from? <laughs> I do are we all Chicago, related? Chicago, Illinois. Are we all related? Are we all related? No. To set this straight once and for all, we just all have red hair. Well, to be fair, you and I look somewhat dissimilar. This guy looks like a box. I do look like a box. Why do we look similar? We have general facial colorings thingamajiggy. It's a thing. We get sunburnt. We're pale. We both have noses. It's all like, it's all reasonable. That's yeah. offensive. Either way, <laughs> at what, po at what right point now. does the box come down? Uh, maybe never. It would be amusing music if you did I a just, whole video I mean, like that. I just thought it was entertaining. Whatever the case, this is going to be our first impressions. We're going to be doing some more content on this game. Yes. I'll probably be doing an unboxing. I just got everything oh, in. Oh, I just didn't know. You have everything? Oh, I got everything. Oh, nice. Oh, I got everything. Along with that, they're also coming back to Kickstarter here Black soon. Rose We're going to be doing birth. coverage on that. Very excited about that. But I wanted to talk about our first play experience yes. with this game. Alex. 60 second overview. You're I famous for them. You're famous for Oh, whoa, do wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Let me get mine up as well. Let's do a do double stop watch. Double stop watch? Yeah, absolutely. Why? It's going to throw. Why do you double? What are you doing? Ready? What? No, what do you look like? Yes, so this is the I wrong setup. Stop you, watch. Reset. What, there we go. Ready? Three, two, two. one. Black Rose Wars is ultimately a game in which, uh, well, two to four mages, or however many number of mages are going to be fighting in this game, trying to basically deal area control damage to each other. To that end, you're going to be running around casting spells, a degree of deck building in this game, a degree of every single round, you're going to draw cards from your deck, you're going to draw cards from a variety of schools of magic, cards with dual use abilities, tons of different ways they can interact with the game, from uh, summoning various creatures, to dealing damage, to, to converting spells, casting them, rebuffing them, setting traps on the board, all these things. You're going to keep two of those cards you drew, and then you're going to proceed to actually go ahead and cast your spells. You can have a quick spell, and then you need to cast three spells in order. Those three spells determining the order. A big part of the planning in this game, because on your turn, you're going to go ahead and activate a quick spell, potentially, as well as one of your main spells, in order to run around the board, deal damage to other players, and then have someone else reveal a spell that's going to go ahead and cast that fireball back at somebody else, dealing damage to your characters. You're going to have these rows at the top where you're putting various cubes. Ultimately, you're going to be trying to deal as much damage to other characters, getting as many extra points of damage in the game, and ultimately, at the end of the game, taking over whoever gets the most points wins. It's close. Close. Not the cleanest. Not the cleanest. Not the the cleanest. end was a little bit. There's some other aspects of the game that are always tough to touch upon, like the whole, the Black Rose itself in terms of the moon, the objectives, the quests you're going to be getting. The room powers and abilities. The, the fact powers, that you yeah. can destroy and completely annihilate certain rooms by yeah. laying down different dominance the markers constructs, and These them. fun constructs you can take control of, the various yes. summonings, the altars, a lot of different aspects, but ultimately the core of this isn't even 60 seconds. The core of this is lots of decks, lots of schools of magic, lots of powers and abilities, and a million ways to interact and do things to each other. Yeah, that's the that's the the core of this game. So, first first thoughts, first impressions. We've played this. I believe we've all played this one, one and a half times. One and a half times is fair. Yes, yes, we did reset. We did reset. We started the game. We, are we starting with things we liked, or are we starting with things we didn't uh, like? It's this not really a review. Reform. This, this is, is a conversation. Yeah, this is the play, uh, the what do you call this? I uh, played it once. Played it once. Powers but, and abilities. It does have powers and abilities. Those cards are really cool. The fact that you can turn them in two different directions. They double up on their powers. You can... Power, cards can be so powerful that they just unleash into the room and start destroying the room. Uh, yeah, are you showing how large it is? Do you know how many more cards all, there are? It's almost <laughs> as big as your nose. Do you know how many more A cards few there are? There's like... If you go through all the expansions, there's like this many cards. Yeah. So it's insanity. These cards are really cool. I, I like They're that you started thematic. there. And I like the different schools. Like, yes. I liked going for the, I believe it was red, blue, and a couple others. Based on his facial expression, he found a really awesome card. Soul Entrapment. When a target model enters the room, you steal four black rose points from that model. Wow. A, four points in this game, in a 30-point game, is a swing. It's an eight-point swing. Yeah. This is a trap card you'll be saying on the board. So, let's be clear. These cards are all going to be different schools of magic. Yes. They have dual use abilities, some more powerful or less powerful, depending on the way that you're playing them out. And you're going to be deck building or deck constructing yeah. throughout the course of this game by, at the top of the round, going to various schools and adding them into your deck. 
that means you're going to start with maybe necromancy and spirit, you know, or whatever it is. Necromancy and, yeah. and, and an affinity for growing things. And then throughout the course of the game, depending on how the gameplay is going, the tiles that you're occupying or what you want to be able to do, you could grab more powerful abilities. You grab some, like, manipulating, you know, creatures or objects, some room destruction, some victory point scoring. You can go down a class, or you can double up on I think you went ne necromancer hard. I went hard necromance, uh, black, red, and then blue. The water was really cool. Are you forgetting those, like, forgotten ones that come into play halfway through the game that are, like, game-breaking that you can use only one time? I believe you went after those. Yeah. yeah. Everything's game-breaking. I went heavy blue, heavy red, just to pure damage destruction. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I spent a good, like, third of the game stuck in my room like a child who had <laughs> done too many things wrong. Because I think a bunch of players found it immensely entertaining to just keep casting spells that there limited were cards my that ability said you couldn't move yes. to move. Yes, that was <laughs> Again very and again and again. I had cards I could still play, I had things I could still do, but like half of what I wanted to do I could actually do. The rest of the time I spent staring at the wall and thinking about whether to do my homework the next day after all. So my gut check first impressions of this game, like the first experience of it resulted in me getting everything that was available. I, I recently did an unboxing and I feel the same way. It is so insanely fun to upgrade your classes, get extra powerful cards in your hand, and do things like you're describing. Or you had some you had some things that just completely drained life out of people within like a step or I two. I like the creatures. I kept bringing up different creatures onto the board. Like, yes. I like those friends. So one of my critiques places. of the game will actually be the constructs themselves. I found that the constructs were a ton of fun. Now granted we haven't played a lot of the constructs Mm -hmm. yet. We only yeah. have one and a half plays under our belt. But I kind of wanted the contracts to survive longer than they did. They were yes. a little pokey. I found that they, they kind of squashed a lot sooner than I'd want, leading to this cool creature entering the board and then and leaving, the board. The board. leaving the board. So I would have liked to see them be a little bit more impactful, a little bit more survivability. Again, that could have changed, especially there's like a ton of mm -hmm. these contracts, so we'll see how that plays out. I think the defining moment where we kind of clicked and realized what this game was because we went through a bit of a less than elegant teaching solution. If you have this game, make sure to download the 1.8 rulebook or something because the core rulebook you have is not as streamlined or as clean or elegant as we'd like. But we had a also, bit of a... Also, player aids, player aids. Are online is yeah. a necessity. You cannot get through this game without those player aids. We stumbled for a, at least half hour, yes. if not an hour. That's why it's one and a half. Uh, <laughs> and then someone in our group came up with getting the game... the. The player aids. The player aids, and it was just, it shifted But, but I think completely. part of that, that first play, the moment where it clicked, the moment where we're like, oh, this is fun. Let's reset and actually play this, was when a mage wandered up to the edge, and I believe Jesse cast a fireball, mm -hmm. spinning it in the air, throwing it at me. More powerful than the one I cast, I believe. I revealed a defense card, which was going to ricochet uh -huh. it back, but not at Jesse. Instead, I was going to ricochet back at Devin, yep. who then proceeded to reveal his own fireball and send it straight back at Jesse. Which I believe incinerated. Incinerated you. It was a fun moment of cards great. interacting, abilities Visual, interacting. mechanics, powers. Thematic. We didn't expect it to be able to happen. Yeah, yeah the player interaction is really... It's huge. Top notch in this game. As someone who was stuck in his room for half the game, I can speak for that. <laughs> yeah, you interacted with so many yes. walls. Yes, beautiful walls, wonderful walls. It was it was kind of remarkable because the same I believe the same day we were recording this, we were also playing uh, the 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 battle bots game. Uh, oh yes, we did. Uh, Robo 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 by by wise by wise wizard. Yes. Uh, that game was a lightweight deck building skirmish yes yeah. and we were enjoying it yep. it was fun it was pokey it was family friendly did good coverage on it it was a lot of fun and then we went upstairs to play this and we went this is that same concept deck building skirmish except it takes 30 minutes to teach and you get so much it's from a rough it. teach it, it's so it's not actually i don't think it's a rough teach i think it's a rough teach if you follow the procedural teaching of the game because the core gameplay ultimately is Here's a bunch of cards, Program draw two, then, then draw four extra from these decks, keep two, program your tableau, be mindful of the quests and the sequence of points earning, and that's basically it. There's a lot of symbology in the cards, symbology that is almost always basically unnecessary. They tell you what yes. school of magic they're from, whether it's sure. a trap, mostly just reading the text will get you what but you need to know. sometimes it does need matter. The range. Yeah, it, it's the range is important, sure, but like there's, there's a lot of extra side things in this mm -hmm. game that don't actually make it that complicated. I think it's pretty streamlined. It's just don't teach it directly from the rulebook. Uh, you need someone who's either played before or has read the rulebook like three times and the player aids twice. 
this is high, high, high on my list to do an unboxing, and I'm planning on getting Jan up, up and running with us and yeah, doing a like three-player gameplay on camera. I just want to get it to the table. Ever since we played it, I yes. have wanted to get this back to the table really, really badly. Yeah. I think I focused a lot on killing players. I liked getting those tokens from each of you yes. guys and collecting them, those trophies. Yep. Um, I didn't focus as much as unleashing power inside the rooms and destroying the rooms, which I know you focused on a little bit more. Sure, it's an that's because they couldn't puzzle. move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the room uh, destruction is an interesting puzzle. You have this aspect of chaos that's being generated yeah. within the rooms that slowly turns it around. And just like the players, you can also take over control. Those little spots where you put your markers, you can play abilities that will turn someone yep. else's damage in that room to your own and a lot of fun ways to to twist the thing. We haven't even really you talked score about score with the most damage yeah, you have yep. also on the player on the player boards and in the, in the room. room. So yes. whoever has one more cube gets double the points. The puzzle between the map and the players themselves is really fascinating because you you're changing the physical environment that you're interacting with in a way that is notable. It, it's kind of like yeah. an arena. It's kind of like an arena, like a gladiatorial combat system, where you have like a a, a, a pit open up and a, a lion come out, or suddenly everything drops away to a pit of spikes. Yeah, uh, I really like the interplay between the arena itself and what we're doing. Because every room has its own unique yeah. ability, and if those abilities start getting used up as players move around, or as rooms get destroyed. Or if I just so don't a... want you to use the ability that's there, because I can see you taking advantage oh, of it. Oh, then you lock me in my room. I and lock you in your room, very... and I incinerate yeah. the thing that you need. There's also a variability, because you play them out in a different order every single yeah. Yeah. game, so where they fall out on the board will be different based on your location. If you need to get to one over there, then you might have to shift your plan to go over here. Main concerns, criticisms, anything that, like... We have the sticking point of the teach. We have the teach sticking point messy. of, I think you need the to use your BGG aid. player aids. Yes. I think the one part that I think is messier than I'd like is the way cards come out on this track. Actually, that track over there. The, the way events. the card, the way the events come the out. Events and the ways they, because they don't really follow this procedural aspect of coming in and also leaving. the moon. They kind of pop in to different spots, and then pop out to different spots. They're a little bit messier in the way I'd like. The quests I found pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. I appreciated those. I love the player board and the way you have like a quick spell and different actions, mm -hmm. but then a sequence. So there's a little bit of action programming and then flexibility up, too. Flexibility to adjust but you sometimes will pay a price for needing to get to a later yes. card yeah. earlier and it could be worth it but you're, you're, you're trying to decide if you're going to sacrifice other turns in order to play something that you've programmed in the future. Have you noticed they're a little asymmetric? The yes. Hand, yes. hand size. I'm just noticing that now. Hmm. The hand size is small. He the amount of health they have. Look at the top health. 11, 12, 10. Oh. Yes. And I believe each one... Does so each one start with their own custom is, decks? Yes. So okay. some of those things, by the way, if you have an all-in, I'll have to send you a guide. There is a guide as to how to integrate the all-in to the base because oh. things did change a bit. So some small changes, okay. I'll send you a guide about that. Keep that in mind. But I would say, I think my biggest concern, the teach is a little bit much, but no. that I can get past. I'm fine with that. I think my biggest concern I touched upon already, I, I found the constructs to be a little mm. squishy. Mm. I These things are cool. They're gorgeous. They look cooler than the mages you actually <laughs> are. I, uh, hey, I want these to matter <laughs> on the board. Now, again, we're one and a half plays in, so the fact that ours were squishy doesn't necessarily mean much. Take it with a grain of salt. Some of them might not be. Sounds like you're talking about my throw throw burrito. Exactly. You miss your throw throw burrito. I do yes. miss my throw throw burrito. I, I want these, especially with like, the dragon. There's some like, ridiculous constructs you can have in this game. I hope those have have more of a presence and an impact in the games we continue to play than the ones we've had until now. Past that, it's powers, abilities, fun combos, pretty planning, artwork. It's a pretty gorgeous artwork. I'm I'm working on a list, a top ten of games I purchased immediately after playing. I felt this was irresponsible of me. Are you I, sure there's only 10 that fit that list? No, yes. Between I'll, the two honestly, of you? It is oh, rare, um, no, not between the two of us. It is rarer than you'd assume, though, that I finish a single gameplay and I am walking out of the room finding out how to get the game. I have a few. I have a very few. This is one of those where it's messy. I went from not needing it, not owning it, not really being interested, to I'm glad that you own it. Yeah. I'm getting one for myself. <laughs> it's I, I already own this game, and I mm. sought out a full Kickstarter all-in pledge after a play and a half. Mm. It's irresponsible of me, especially with Black Rose Wars Rebirth coming up. <laughs> sure. I'll throw a link uh, sure. well, in your channel. You can throw yeah. a link down below. Oh, no, you can do it. You, have yeah, a, do you it. also have the all-in pledge coming? Uh, all he coming. I have it. Now. I have an unboxing video. Everything's uh, here. I was... Okay. You haven't seen it all yet, but I have a lot of stuff against that wall over there. A lot of boxes over there. It's too much to set up on this table right now. I have a full when unboxing. When are you going to unbox it? I, it's already up. Yes. 45 minutes of me just looking at ridiculous over-the-top miniatures of this game. And tons yeah, of cards. We're, we're going to do that soon. 
Yes. Yay! I like minis. It's it's a lot. It's intimidating. It's one of the few times I have I went from playing the game, getting the game, mm -hmm. and then really questioning whether you ever need this much content for a game. The answer is yes. You don't need it, but you don't need a lot of things. <laughs> you have so much Marvel stuff. I had ice cream oh. today. I didn't need that. To be fair, I did put out a full video saying why I shouldn't have backed all the Marvel stuff. And you showed me those cases of Marvel cards. There were endless amounts of cards. Mm, I hear I you. don't think you need all that. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with you there either. I go all in on games that I like for a reason. This this is delightful. They have some concerns. Yeah. I would argue that not argue. I would. I'm very very interested in Black Rose Rebirth. I'm very interested to see. I know it's going to be compatible to a degree. They did some graphic design changes, so you have to be comfortable with your cars having different graphic design on the front, which is something that I'm not thrilled about, mm -hmm. but I can live with. But I am very intrigued because it can go either way. Sometimes you feel the need to innovate and change things enough that it ends up making it messier, which might be good for you. Not what I'd be looking for. This one's already so close to messy enough. Yeah that I don't know that I need it to be messier. I hope they streamline something. I, I hope want they streamline the events. I hope they have card play a little simpler and easier. I hope I hope it's the same I game. I want it to be more powerful. I want it to be more asymmetric. I want more mages yep. to play with. There's a lot of things I want, but it doesn't necessarily add complexity to the game. It adds choice. Yep. Opportunity to, to continue experiencing in a new and different way. Well, I know the rooms are working differently. And I'm, I'm excited oh, for are. that first stretch goal. They'll be goal. building up the rooms instead of destroying them. Slight difference. Could go either way. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I don't know. I don't have a hard, hard opinion there. So the one that's coming out, it's going to totally replace this all nope, in? Nope, it's going to be more it's content. It's expansion? It's, more, it's a standalone game. More content can be come on. Integrates and is standalone. Yes. I'm really excited for the first stretch goal on that, which is going to be updated player aids. Is it really? No. Oh. But I really hoping. hope so. That would be good. We can use those. <laughs> Whatever. This is going to be a first impressions of Black Rose Wars. I wanted to get this down to the table to talk about it. I know we all had a great time playing yes. it. Yes. I am excited to continue bringing coverage. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about down the road. And so let us know. Are you interested? What would you like to see? Could you not be excited? Uh, I, mean, I mean, really, would you like to see us three go head to head? Or should, we, I, should it be I a do. Do I get a vote? Play? Do I get a vote? No. Just Shira and I battling it to death or Alex and I battling it to the death? Like, I'd watch that too. What type of gameplay, what type of content would you be interested in? Maybe maybe just Board Game Coast and I sit down with the Player Aid and produce a Player Aid video to help you get this to the table. Whatever the case, whatever you want. Let us know in the comments down below. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.